Hey everyone, welcome back to Snag Bear. Uh, now we're, we've probably all been on the fence. Well, I want to get a GoPro. This thing shoots some really cool videos, but which one should I get? And now the decisions have been made even harder. I mean, this is a Hero 3, this is a Hero 2, and at the time of posting this video, they now have a, uh, a Hero 3 Plus. So let me give you my honest feedback. And I'm going to start with the Hero 2 and the Hero 3. I've got the Hero 3 Black Edition, which is the top of the line Hero 3. Uh, at the time of posting this, the most top of the line GoPro in the market is a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. So let's start with Hero 2. Hero 2 captures incredible video. Hero 2 is, uh, is definitely larger in size than the... Uh, than the Hero 3. It's also heavier. Hero 2 is easy to open. Now that's both a plus and a minus because the ability to open it so easily, if you did impact, say, the water really hard, it could open. Mine's never popped open, but I know people whose GoPro uh, HD Hero 2s have. Uh, this uses a standard size SD card. It's got your little mini HDMI right there. It's got your uh, USB for syncing and charging. It's got a microphone jack. And it's even got sound for TV. So none of those things are exposed. Uh, to remove the battery, all that you do is open this on the Hero 2. Here's your battery in there. So it's, it's a larger camera. The, uh, the visual quality of the Hero 2 is great. I mean, you can capture 1080p HD. Where it's not as great, is the Hero 3 is that yeah you're gonna capture 1080p HD on the Hero 2 but on the Hero 3 1080p HD you can capture at 60 frames per second so if you're an extreme video editor you like to maybe slow down and or speed up video clips Hero 3 is gonna take the cake it's it's or Hero 3 Plus for that matter because that's out now, now also the uh, the flat lens cover on the waterproof case as opposed to the kind of concave you just get better overall visual quality out of the Hero 3 or the Hero 3 Plus. Now obviously with a newer camera comes some improvements and a lot of people dislike the uh, the way that the Hero 3 case opens they thought that it was confusing but once you get over that hurdle the camera inside is really going to uh, going to impress you more than the Hero 2. Uh, one thing that I like about the Hero 3 is that this little area right here is covered. Cover pops out. It's got your USB for charging and then also your your HDMI and a micro SD. This uses micro SD instead of uh, instead of full size SD like the Hero 2 does. The uh, it's got Wi-Fi built in. A Hero 2 did not have Wi-Fi built in. That's handy when you're using it uh, in conjunction with the GoPro mobile app. Makes it really nice to uh, to be able to see what you're filming. Even if you're not watching the whole time you're filming, I use it a lot of times just to line up. If I'm using suction cup mount on the hood of my car or something, it's a good way to verify you got the right angle. Batteries in here. And I'm actually using an aftermarket Wasabi battery, uh, which I found has been really uh, affordable and, and provides great battery life. So if you're on the fence about GoPro today, if, you're, if you've got an unlimited budget, I would go Hero 3 Plus. The things you're gonna, and I don't have a Hero 3 Plus in front of me, but the things you're gonna get in Hero 3 Plus that you don't get in this Hero 3 the case that the camera fits in for Hero 3 Plus is a little bit smaller. And by the way, if you have a Hero 3 and you need a new case, the Hero 3 will fit inside the Hero 3 Plus case. Also, the, uh, the batteries for the Hero 3 Plus and the Hero 3 are the same. But with the Hero 3 Plus, you're going to get better battery life because of the improved camera design. So if cost isn't an issue, go with Hero 3 Plus. If cost is an issue, 
on today's market, what I would recommend, and this is purely because the Hero 2, the design and the accessories and all of that are, are somewhat dated now, even though it uses the same mount as the Hero 3, as you can see there, and the Hero 3 Plus, some of the accessories, the newer accessories that are being created, if you get a Hero 2, you might not have the luxury of, uh, of being able to buy that accessory for your, for your Hero 2. So I would, if money's an issue, go Hero 3 for a discount. If money's not an issue, go Hero 3 Plus. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, and also, if you'd like to post a review, uh, review this on snagbear.com. Review this and other items as well. I've got uh, unboxings, reviews, how-tos. So just a lot of fun stuff there. Check us out, snagbear.com. Uh, share this with others and subscribe to us on all of social media. You can find those links on snagbear.com and share with your friends and family. Uh, thanks for tuning in and y'all have a good day.